Hi, I'm Carol CB. I'm here to help you with a little bit of core strength. I have gone from tip top shape to only being able to get up for about 15 minutes a day. And so this is for you to start getting your core strengthened and know that I can relate. I am turning 52 in a couple days. So this is for you grandmas and anyone who wants to just start to get your core strengthened. And um, we'll just start right here. So if you can lay on your back, you can do this. So right here, you can feel your stomach muscles right here, and we're just going to tighten your muscles. Just tighten right there. You can feel on the side of your muscles. We're going to do this 15 times. You should be able to breathe and talk while you do this. You want It shouldn't hurt. You just want to straighten right here. Feel those muscles tighten. Go right here on the sides. There's 10. You shouldn't hurt. Just tighten. Now I have a lot of back pain right here in my back. And this is going to strengthen your back and help help so that your muscles can stay, your bones can stay into shape and stay in place. Now this is a pelvic tilt, so you're just going to tuck your tail and look, just, just tuck it in right there. Now this is embarrassing because I am not in great shape. I've got a lot more chub than I'd like to have. I am growing my hair back after losing it all, and I have to admit, it has a mind of its own. So you can see that I'm tuck, just right here, rolling your back, tucking it. It's a very slight movement. I like to put my hands here so I can feel. This will strengthen your back and help it help the core all strengthen and get those muscles stronger. Now you want to move up so you can do this up to this whole process. You want to be able to do this four times a day. And when you get to that point, your four times a day, then you should have a lot of, a lot of relief. So I lost track how many I had, but this feels really good. You can do this in your bed, you can do this on the floor, you can probably even do this on, on a chair. So now this next one is called the bridge. And so make sure your feet are planted. I like to put my hands down right here. And you just tuck your tail and lift. Then you hold it. Make sure your stomach, your back is tight. Make sure you're breathing. Now when I started doing these exercises, I, my energy level just went skyrocket. I just had so much more energy. About 15? <laughs> okay, count, we need to do 15. Make sure you breathe, tuck your tail under. So you can get any kind of belt or anything you want. I got this just at Walmart. And what you do is you, um, you can tie it around your legs. I just like this. Now, I know I'm more flexible than a lot of people because I'm, I was at one time a gymnast and I have that flexibility. So however you can get this around your legs, you just do it. And make sure you don't do anything that hurts. You don't want it to hurt. This needs to feel, this needs to feel good. So if you can only do the bridges right now, that's okay. So, oh, I'm having a hard time trying this, baby. So whatever you can use, you can use whatever you have, you create. So you're gonna pull apart. 
So make sure you tighten, keep that tummy. You can feel right here if those muscles are tight. There's one, two, three. Make sure you tuck your tail under. Don't, you don't want to bridge right here. Tuck your tail under. Five. Your feet should be square. Six. Doesn't look like much, but I'm already kind of getting hot. It really does start working your body. Push out. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. If you need to take a breath, take a breath and take a rest. Eleven. Push out. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. And This wasn't very expensive. I just picked this up at Walmart. There was like so many on the Tenma. The reason why I picked this one is because I like that it had hands, things right here, and you're, you can put your hands on them and it can be adjustable. And I just put this wall, this um, lock up. You can use a towel or anything, anything you want, but I just really like having this block here. And just put that block between your legs. You can put it this way or this way. And you're gonna squeeze. You're gonna squeeze together. You can use a towel. One. We're gonna do 15. So we're gonna start with 15 reps of each exercise. And like I said, you want to be able to do this first one time a day and do 15 reps, and then two, and then work up to four. Squeeze. So you're gonna squeeze your legs together. So very slight movement. Always keep your core strong right here. If you start getting sick or it starts hurting, stop. If you just want to build on this, you know, you might not be able to do 15 right now. And some some of the exercises I have to modify because it hurts my back. So many of these you can just do wherever. I like to get up and get dressed. I have a little energy drink that I like to drink. Um, it has some vitamin B and it helps me feel good. And then I have what's called an access bar, and it gets, it's supposed to it burn fat. Um, I wish it would burn more fat, but they say that after you have chemo, you actually um, gain weight. And I have to say, I'm really happy that I haven't gained weight. I haven't lost. You know, when I was having cancer, I thought I was going to lose a whole bunch of weight. I was thinking 50 pounds about, and I was going to lose all my moles. But that didn't happen. I didn't lose 50 pounds, I didn't lose my moles, and I lost all my hair. I knew that was going to happen. Okay, we're about 15 now. Now we're going to grab the belt again. Now, I know that I am pretty limber this way, so you need to just do whatever works for you. So take right here, straighten, straighten your leg, and then pull. We have to look for 30 counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. If that hurts, you just, it starts really aching and burning. You can just rest for a minute. This is why a lot of these, I can hold on to these all these. Okay, we're gonna hold it for 10 more seconds. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the other leg. So I like it. Ooh, this leg's always tighter when I'm left on this. Two, say five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, it stretches out as you, you know, you hold it here. It's more. Like I said, I like to get totally dressed, even though you don't need, I like to get dressed up in my exercise clothes, feel like I'm doing something serious and 
and taking it serious. Um, you don't have to, but for me, it just just feels like I'm really getting a good workout, even if it's only 15 minutes. I do it. I like to get my exercise clothes, and I always like to have color because it makes me happy. So it just makes me happy and feel good. Oh, that feels so, so, so good. Now this is my favorite stretch here. You take your leg over here and you just pull it over to the side. Now I know that I'm really limber this way. And so don't, if you're just here, that's okay. Um, try to keep this shoulder on the, on the ground. Then you take your opposite hand and pull it over like this. This feels so good to me. And then we're going to go over to the other side. So the opposite hand, shoulder down right here. This really stretch, stretches through here. Okay, and you can hold on like this. And pull your legs up there. I know that I'm very flexible this way. I actually don't feel much of a stretch that way. So I like to take this and really pull it up. Actually, I feel no stretch for me, but this is actually a little bit stretch. Just that my physical therapist had me do. I don't feel much here, but you can, most people do. I'm gonna hold that for about 30 seconds. If you don't feel stretch, you can pull up here, and that actually can give you a little more, and I can feel it definitely there. And then, you take one leg at a time, that leg down and pull it up. Like I said, I don't feel much there, so I need to take it up here. Pulls right here in your hand, hamstrings. Pretty much everybody has tight hamstrings. So if you're here, that's okay. Do whatever feels right for you. Don't don't compare yourself or push where it's painful. Just want it to be tight and feel good. Okay, and okay, so this one actually kind of hurts my back. So you have to be really careful right here. You're gonna be you're gonna be a dead bug. You lay like this, like a dead back, like this. Well, actually, yeah, like this. And then one leg goes out, and the opposite leg goes straight. You have to be really careful not to lower too hard for me, too low, because it does hurt my lower back. Really use your tummy muscles. Work up to 30. I think that's about 15. That's actually really, I really have to keep these muscles tight right here to do that. And then we're going to march. So you're just going to keep your tummy tight and march your legs. Keep them tight. 30, 30 of these. It's really annoying. The pain on each leg. Keep your tummy tight. Keep your back flat on the ground. You want to be able to still talk. Okay, now go to your side. These are called clamshells. 
and you just right here. And you're gonna make sure you work, don't let yourself go back. You know, lift your leg up. Make sure you stay forward. Two, three, four. Don't let, don't go back and don't roll back. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 13, 14, 15. And then you can actually, this really works your hip and you lift your leg up this way. One, two, don't go back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten. You can do this one if you want. Oh, that doesn't feel good, though. That just like that. That feels best for me. And then we're going to go the other way. One. Don't lean back. That's one thing. As I roll back, you want to keep forward. Healthy life.